Good afternoon, morning, Good evening, evening or night, night ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Jar Media Podcast. Today we are joined by... <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, James, you need to up your intro. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Jar Media Podcast. Today we are joined by Mr. Alexander Beltman. That's me. And his fellow companion, Jamie Beltman. And I'm your. You, I'm your host. You sign off. No, it's my sign, sign in. I'm your host, James. That's it. That's it. Button one. Button two. I'd just like to note that seeing as this is episode 161, um, that makes it a palindrome. Uh, explain, please. You guys know what a palindrome is? No. Something that's the same forwards as it is backwards? Oh, like James. Nope. Like Hannah. Do you know what I thought a palindrome was? What? I thought it was um, thanking the patrons over at Patreon for supporting the show. That was beautiful. Thank you to the you patrons you over at Patreon for help helping making the Jarcast possible. Mm-hmm. You got there eventually. Yeah, I, I get. I always get there. Only took a, just a slight hint. Uh, I haven't hosted in a while. I've been, you know. I've not been feeling confident for myself recently, and I've needed to. Why is that? Because of your shit tier opinions on something we're going to talk about. No, 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 no. Is it because um you played a a challenging video game and it made you feel bad because you couldn't complete it? No, 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 no. I've just been feeling like a bit on the low recently, so I was just like, you know, I should just okay host the Jarcast again and feel good about myself. So here I am. So today we've got some really juicy topics ones that's gonna make the fans really mad at me and Jim's gonna attack me probably no, and no, I'll I... just sit here yeah you always, sit, you always sit there that's what you do we all just sit there really yeah thanks guys so can I just point out that the order that we're sitting in is JJA Browns what JJA Star Wars man. Browns Anyway, please, James, introduce us to this um, good, good um, this topic of which you speak. Okay, so I there's been a topic in the gamer atmosphere for quite some time. The gamer atmosphere. This is going to be a good one. Our memes are leaking though, anyway, so we own that now. It's a discussion that has been going on for quite some time, and it's time the Jarcast actually acknowledged, acknowledged. This very serious topic. Very serious. Very No serious. jokes allowed here. You know, the last few episodes we've been we've been it's all been serious and this is the most serious out of all of them. This is, you know, make or break uh conversation here. What I want to talk about today is difficulty in video games. Difficulty in video games. <laughs> oh Yes. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the James Leg slaps are picked up nicely on the mics. Yeah, I think because they, they better be fucking worth it. Because they before we took before we talk about um the difficulty, let me just quickly say, apologies for anyone watching the video for the last few, maybe this one as well. We're having this weird issue with Premiere where like just mm. frames from the intro and like just random shit just keeps appearing. It's very bizarre. I, I post on Twitter the translation of Alex saying the issue. Alex got a bit blazered. Wrong. And thought it would be funny. So, sorry no. guys. No, this is actually seriously, there's an issue and we're going to... No, because I've updated. i been using a 2017 version of Adobe Premiere. And I, I think you going to say a 27-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I updated it to the current version. And so, I was expecting some things to go wrong. And it has. So, here we are. Audio's fine though. And that's what matters. And that's yes. what matters. And that is what matters. And that's what matters. Is that, an, is that an, uh, like an impression? What is that? No, I, it was just like I was pretending that it was lagging, and it kept saying the same thing over and over. Oh, Speaking of funny. lag, lags in video games. Back to video games or whatever. Yeah, so nice lag in video games. 
<laughs> That's you not hate subject. a bit of like you shut know, the fuck I, up that wasn't the topic bro bring it back right i gave you such an in and you fucked it <laughs> what are you an amateur podcaster <laughs> <laughs> boys it's time we talked about difficulty in video games what what about difficulty in video games would you like to discuss because i just finished resident evil 2 and i thought it was the perfect level of difficult it was brilliant mm -hmm. Best game i've played in a long time there is this issue that has been discussed about difficulty in video games and how there should be easy mode in video games. You Specifically mean, hard ones. You mean souls born heroes. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> it's basically that genre of game and... Should they be easier? Would you play it if it was easier? Yes. Would you play it if it was easier? The same game... But you can make it easier. No? I rest my case. <laughs> I think I that's think the appeal of those games. They're, but there's nothing lost in the game <clears throat> being easier. People who play it hard you don't You mean having the option anything. for people? Yes. And I think a loads of people are, are hating on you know reviewers because they're like, games should have an easy mode. There's loads of clickbait articles about easy mode in games so elitist gamers are like going hard on them because they think that's wrong I well the, the, the games media are being quite elitist about it as well yeah. I saw a headline um, uh, from software should r respect their players and add an easy mode right like that that that's has just a clickbait headline yeah that is but then that causes arguments about it and it's constant at the moment I've seen stuff all the time about it and I don't get it I don't understand what the issue is with having an easier mode in games I don't get that I, specifically with the souls born era that's where people are very I, very like no you no. see I think um, a core part of those games is that they're fine tuned that everyone is having the same experience that's exactly what I was thinking like with a, a Halo game for example like it has take Halo 2 it has easy normal heroic and mm. legendary and every, every first person yeah, basically. Yeah, and a bunch of them aren't right. A bunch of them are scaled It's, it's the argument that when it when something is designed to be, like, designed a certain way, if you change that, it, it's not the same. It's a different experience. Yeah. Yeah. So it's but like playing World of War and Insane the, the is thing a is, terrible experience as compared to playing it on normal. I think playing Dark Souls with an easy mode on would make the game worse. And therefore, someone might play the game on easy and then not have that great of a time. And then to them, the game is worse. And I mean, that's not good for the developers. It's like, um, we recently tried out the Switch version of Mario, Super Mario Bros. U, is that what it's called? Yeah. Whatever, but they added this character who's invincible, mm -hmm. who can just go through all of the damage and it makes the game so boring. Yeah. It actually makes the game so much that, worse. No, but with that, that literally does break the core gameplay like, completely. Having a character that is invincible. But I mean, when playing at that point, I'd say um, f I'd happily. Well, I mean, it's not my choice, but an easy mode is good for people with like disabilities. That's or, the thing. Stuff like I that. I don't understand why so many elite gamers have have an issue with it when all it does is allow people with disabilities to be able to play games. What is the problem with that? They're not losing anything, but more people are being able to play a game. Even if it's not the same difficulty, even if it's easier, they're still having an experience. What is I mean, I, I can't speak for people with disabilities, but I mean, it, I mean that's their argument. I don't know if they've, uh, they've got the controller that's been made by Microsoft to make games more accessible, think that's the only which one is pretty existence. awesome. That's like, yeah. that's, it's, it's shitty from the game It's, game it's a tricky personally. subject because, I mean, they, they are a minority. So hmm. games are going to be made for the majority yeah, of people. Yeah, like you can't expect every product to be made for every person. No. Ever. No, it's okay for them to exist in their own, you know, system. But also it's it's like you don't show a child a, a mature movie. You know? Mm -hmm. So you don't like you shouldn't make a game easier for a child to, for the sake of accessibility. That's what Nintendo does though. But I mean they if you if your entire game is built around a younger audience, then it's right for that game to be easier. But if I don't think Souls players are very young, or Soulsborne, well, like compare um, well that Mario game we just talked about with 
yeah. Super Mario Bros. 3. Mm -hmm. Well, the original. There's no easy mode in those. They're just tough. And there's one difficulty, and that's just the way it is. Like, I've seen arguments saying that, you know, if you want to play these games, you should just start playing it and then just get the hang of it. But then that is not enjoyable. If you're going to spend 10 hours no, in I, game I, to get I, good, I would completely disagree. The, the, the reason I love Souls games so much is because it taught me to, like, respect its systems. And I grew as a player instead of the game just making it easier for me. That's the thing. It's investing the first bit of time into it. But I can't be fucked to do that. But I mean, no, that, that's the problem with can't. you, not the game. No, definitely not. But if the game introduced, I guess, the difficulty a lot easier instead of just boom, that would be so well, much I mean, more. The... That doesn't change the <clears> game. <throat> that does not change the game by having it a gradual learning curve instead of just... It is a, a gradual learning curve, though, because... Just we because... We were talking about Dark Souls 1. There is no... I... The first part of that game, I did fine up until that one boss. Where no, there's no look diff there's no learning curve. It's literally no. It is it is a learning curve. How? Otherwise, how would I have gotten from the start of the game where I was shit and f beat the last boss? How can like because I've said a, a player from like if you just gave a player the controller to fight like one of the harder bosses of the game, they couldn't do it, mm. and well, they I need to be understand. eased in by the first bosses. The difficulty spike in Dark Souls One specifically is terrible because I spent to get to that boss, I played about three hours. Because I was trying to play with someone. So I'd actually... The f I could complete up until that boss, no damage at all, easy. That's that's piss. But then it goes to a boss where you're stuck on a tiny bridge. How the hell... How? What, how are you supposed to learn how to start doing that? A tiny bridge? Repetition? Isn't that what this whole game's about? Yeah, the, the, the game is, is built around um, trial and error. So, like, you learn from your mistakes every time. And if you keep trying to do the same thing over and over and over, then you're going to keep failing over and over and over. What's the solution? You want them to build in an easy mode? No. No. I don't want... No. But, you but don't that, just snap make an easy mode. It's just like being... That's what the solution would require, though. They'd basically have to fine-tune two games. Not really. Like an easy that's, mode. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. Because, to me, Dark Souls 1 has its flaws, but in a lot of ways is perfectly designed. And I've I've never been as satisfied completing a game as I was the first time I ever beat Dark Souls 1. I just don't like how there's elitism as if gamers lose something by having it open to people with disabilities and having an... No, I'm definitely low, for that. level of requirement uh, Yeah, to get the in. issue is gatekeeping. Um, the thing know. is, like, these... Well, what's the reason these people in the games media want an easy mode? Because they review, because they want to get through the game quicker to do a view, or you know, because a lot of game journalists. That's, well, the reason is because they can do uh, an article and get clicks from it. They don't give a shit, like really. Yeah, <laughs> I think the issue with this whole argument is the fact you've got there's one side where you know there's people you know with disabilities and just low entry, so people can enjoy it, more people enjoy it. But the main people preaching this are people who are just like, I want money, I want to do it quicker. So I think a lot money. of people that. Um, want like easy modes though are, are people that have tried Dark Souls and not really liked it but the thing is like if it was easier then you probably still wouldn't like it because it's dark because it's the type of game it is yeah really no, and, and really with, that. without that like hurdle to jump where's the satisfaction I think it's it's core in especially the Soulsborne genre that it has you have to have hurdles to jump yeah, naturally. Otherwise, there's no satisfaction. It's, it's like the same with Battle Royale games. Like, If they were all brain-dead AI and you won every time... That's not fun. The, but when you do get that win, it makes it all the more satisfying because you... To be fair, most games that come out, you do have difficulty options. The only yeah. one I can't think of th is... Uh, are the Soulsborne games. I'd argue those games aren't as fine-tuned, though. What? The, the games that have difficulty options. So, like, every game? No, well, normally, no, because like, they base the game around a set difficulty that's normal, pretty much. But, I mean, even then, a lot of people find that too easy. Like, there are countless games where normal is too hard. No, normal is too easy, but hard is too hard. Because they're, it's balanced around this... Anyone can play at anything, but it all has to be possible. Yeah. Like, I can think of talking about Wolfenstein. Normal and that can be quite difficult at times. Yeah, Morphenstein 2 it was really hard. Yeah. But, but then you just turn it down to easy. Hmm. But, or I mean, maybe. what's the satisfaction in that? 
You can the, actually... I did that. Yeah, but I mean, it's, 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 you don't feel like you've overcome a challenge. You feel like the game has just... Because I wasn't really playing that game for the gameplay. I was playing it. Yeah, was, exactly. Like so it's story. not that great of a game. It's not... A, like it's it's nowhere near Dark it's Souls in terms of game. quality. It's a, it's a no, story I wasn't. Game. I wasn't even trying to compare them. No, that's my point though. You, I, I don't find a game like completing a campaign in Halo or COD isn't satisfying that itch, that gameplay itch. No, it definitely doesn't. So when I think of difficult in games, that is a game that you go to instantly. I go to Dirt Wally because there's difficulties. But it doesn't matter because it's all about how good you are as a player. The mechanics are always the same, right? Like, yeah. So it's just about how you getting better means you can go to like I I've played racing games since I was four. You know, I, I know how to play racing games to a stupidly high level. I jumped on that game at medium and couldn't do it. I dropped it down to easy because it's just like you can't. So you, you work your way up naturally as you get better at the game, and that's what games should do. It shouldn't just be a difficult now. It should just be gradually as you get better it becomes harder. Because even I think something that is underutilized in games is an organic difficulty system that Resident Evil 2 uses. Um, it, a system like when you take damage and stuff like that, it slightly makes things easier. But then the more successful you are, the harder it gets. The harder it gets. So that you're always in this state of it being perfectly balanced for you. Because that's and then it's how always you play. satisfying. Yeah. Like, but it's like, how do they manage that in certain other genres? Like, that game is very. Because it's like, a horror game, it, yeah. it, it's like designed for that. Yeah, you in can mind. do that, but you can't do that in a first version shoot or, or a Souls game, I imagine. You actually could do it in a Souls game. It could work in a Souls game, I think. I mean, you could argue that it's already there because they have leveling systems and you can grind for Souls and make yourself stronger, give yourself a bigger health bar, make yourself like, deal if, more damage. If Souls worked the way the Resident Evil 2 was, I probably would have got into it. Mm hmm. Because I, when I started playing it, yeah, I started getting used to the combat. And then, obviously, as I got better, the game would have got harder. And if I struggled, it would get easier. It's like that adaptive system would be so good in a lot of games. And that's probably the solution to it. Because if someone's just, if they are, you know, disabled, they have disabilities, and they're not as quick with reactions, they're still going to enjoy the game because it's going to be yeah. more for them. That's, that's the way to do it. And gamers don't lose anything. Nobody loses anything because the good gamers are still going to get the hard stuff. Like, what's the problem there? But it's obviously designing those systems into games is, is where the difficulty it's is. It's tricky as well because, like, for a, a reviewer to review a game, they can have a completely different experience to someone else. So I think like, it, I think reviewers have made the uh, the debate really toxic. Like they sh yeah, re you you don't. Like, I don't know How? if people know this, but you don't consume any games journalism because it's bad. Games journalism is, has been crap. It, it's like... What are you talking about? That sort of clickbait headline, like I just said, has been cropping up everywhere because people are, are arguing about it at the moment. Yeah. And they're not really adding anything. But how... And You jumped from... It being the fault of games journalists? What being the fault? It's, the discussion suddenly jumped from accessibility in games to then it being the fault of games media. I think ever since like what was it, Gamergate? Like games media. You no, know, since since gamers, Gamergate is the gamers and games media have had like a massive split. Mm -hmm. So if 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 games media says something, they it's you, a class. You, you, mean, hate well, you mean like clickbait headlines? No one cares about. No, people, people share do around care. on Twitter. They do care because there's a, there's ar there's arguments about it every single time there's an article, Alex. Every time I don't there's think an it, article. I don't, gamers don't care. They're like not. They do care, Alex. No, as, as in, care. that's not like the people who are actually playing, the, the majority of people who are playing, they don't give a shit about these articles and whatnot. And I mean, like all, and like Sekiro just came out. Every, well, every a, game site fucking loves it. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, every, every time a. a from software releases a game, that same argument comes up. Should they have an easy mode? I remember it when Dark Souls Three came out. It was I, the mean, same I, remember, I remember it's been yeah, it's been talked it's about been for like years. But I mean, it's up to the developers. I wouldn't be angry if they added an easy mode. If they did an adaptive system like Resident Evil, what nobody can be angry because it doesn't change anything. Yeah, like there's they'll always find a new thing to be angry about. I mean. <laughs> The thing is, I think it's fine as it, it is. Just I that's like, why people like the game. Well, yeah, 
It has its audience, so they might as well stick to that. But like, since when did art have to like, you know, adapt it, that, itself that's, to accept? That's my point. Like, the the Souls games, if if they have different difficulties, there are basically different versions of the game. Mm -hmm. So then you you don't all have the same satisfaction. It's a weird thing that you can't compare to any other medium, because like you watch a movie. The only thing that's going to change is, like, the resolution. Mm -hmm. But it's like saying to an out-there director like David Lynch, you need to stop being so weird because I don't understand your movies. Yeah. I want you to change your art so I like it. Mm -hmm. the, like, the thing is, it's fine if, if Dark Souls isn't your thing. Yeah. Like, you, you're not owed anything for not liking it or... It's not like we're short of games to play. Yeah. Totally. Or any media in general. But it's the same for someone who loves Dark Souls. Well, they, they love Dark Souls, so they're going to keep trying at it. Like, I think that's the big difference with this whole difficulty thing. Like, people... Some people will just give up. Mm -hmm. Whereas other people keep going and going and going. And even if you don't improve, you will just somehow manage to get through the game. It's it's the same with like everything. It's like why I would spend hours doing the same thing on a racetrack in Forza constantly because I get a second off. Yeah, Does that improvement. And to you, that's really satisfying because it's like nothing gave you that improvement. It's personal growth. It, yeah, it's me getting better at the game. It's that. Growth. Yeah, yeah, and that's where an adaptive system works best in for everyone. Literally, it doesn't. Yes, and no. No, but like, look at um, we've all been playing Apex Legends recently. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the way, um, like you and Ruben talk about how good you are at the game, and you try to like devalue each other's like skill by saying no. things like, "Well, Ruben, he only plays on Xbox, so the and the players are way worse." And th that it's that kind of thing. So there's always like a new step where it's like, "Well, you played here, which means you're worse." There's no. always ways to just yeah, but, yeah, but that's a bait. That's me and Ruben bait. That's just petty fighting. That's not actually like what we think. Anyway, the, you can't battle whales. I've literally got worse. I've literally just gone downhill. That's how my like enjoyment of the game is gone. <laughs> it's just crap now. Battle royales are a completely different topic for another time. No, but it's always this topic. It's the gaming with the games podcast. This is, this is just a gaming intro. Then I guess we won't talk Ooh. about games in the second half unless no. there's a question about it. But basically, Oopsie. I'm a gamer. And if you don't like so my games, your I don't point like is that you have no point, and Jim's right. No, it's just a discussion. Because that's what James we do. thinks. I just think there should be ways for other people to be able to enjoy a game. I think there should be different games for different types of people, which there are. Which so is exactly what it is. So already. it's fine already. Is my opinion. Yeah. There's no. There's no. There's no issue. Hey, Jim, if you lost an arm tomorrow. And couldn't play Dark Souls because you just couldn't. The thing is, there, there's, it's, you can't expect everyone to do this, but there's a, a speedrunner for Mario 64 that plays with one hand, because he has one hand. Yeah. And he he could, beat he he could out speedrun me in Mario 64 any mm -hmm. day of the fucking week. And I mean, for that to exist, it, it's pretty fucking impressive. And the, the, there is enjoyment to be had for all kinds of people in games, especially now that Microsoft have done that awesome controller. Yeah, Big yeah. Because surely Microsoft they could actually. play Dark Souls with that controller. And yeah, they'd have I a somewhat have similar no experience. I don't know. I I think the, the the games industry should just be more open to people with disabilities. I think Xbox. It's, being the it's biggest an extremely support. difficult thing. Yeah, but it's just like you should always. Yeah, what can to. they do? I mean. It's already like a luxury. It's not like it's not like the argument of having a ramp instead of stairs. Yeah. Know? At the end of the day, it's still like. I mean, it, it's good. I I, it, the best thing that could have happened has happened, I think, and that's Microsoft making that controller. And as long as that controller is accessible and not like two hundred pounds. No, that, that controller is completely accessible because you can customize it for you. The, you yeah. Your issue. That's. And I think as long as that exists, then it's we're massive. doing pretty good. There's loads of support for it because it's just like it's the first big thing to actually help. Well, people. it genuinely warmed my heart yeah. to see, like, and it, I, like I swear you say, they did it out of nowhere. It was just like boom, this fucking crazy yeah. controller. They've like, been so pro, like consumer, ever since ever since they, they were shit, bent over and 
penetrated by the Japanese competitors. But, you know, I just think, you know, we should be open to everything. That's my view. But you're not also inherently anti-disabled people if you want Dark Souls to stay the same. That's just my point. You know yeah. I mean? No, you're elitist. I don't even, like, I don't play Dark Souls. I don't care. I'm indifferent, you. Yeah. I'm not. Now, back to the subject of games. Eh. Well, you're the host, James. You've got to lead us. Let's talk about Apex Legends. <laughs> what do you want to say about Apex Legends? No, there's nothing to say about Apex Legends. I, I... <gasps> it's the best Battle Royale. Yeah, by far. That's all I can say. I saw Not something I'm recently. fond of the genre. I saw something recently. Um, this is more gamer news. And it was this gamer on... On Reddit or Twitter or some shit and was like... Probably Reddit. All these people calling themselves gamers that only putting 100 hours into a game. Real gamers put in 300 plus hours into games. They want to know life it, yeah. That's sad. That's what I mean about the gatekeeping, like... You're not you're not a real fan of blank unless you've consumed blank. Or you you know this. Yeah, it's, it's like... Gatekeeping is terrible. Like, there's so much of it in gaming. There's so much of it in everything. Gaming specifically. That's just because gamers, they go hand in hand with online. Yeah. And the the discussion is always going to be... If if you genuinely have that opinion, though, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> for like, real? That you need to play games for hundreds of hours. Yeah. Like, to be I, a real I, fan. I, I've played games for hundreds of hours, and it's the saddest point in my life. I would go back... <laughs> well, yeah. I would go no, back... I mean, no, no, what I try to do, I'd no, go, I'd go that's, back... That's doing the same no, thing. I'm, I'm saying if that's your opinion, like, that... Like... Say we both played Red Dead, yeah. but I've played it f for 800 hours, and you've yeah. played it for 50. Yeah. I um, I have no right to say that you like the game less, or that you don't deserve to call yourself a, a gamer, or hang out in forums, or on Reddit, in our gaming. You're in our gaming, and you, you haven't even put 800 hours into Red Dead. You don't like the Borderlands 3 trailer? Get out of here. <laughs> Borderlands 3 trailer's shit. Oh. Basically, if I could go back to 14-year-old me, I'd call him a loser, because he was. But then you'd change history. Good. And that would be If fucked. I didn't play Modern Warfare 2, I'd have a better life. You can't say that. Yeah, I can't say, say that. I can't say that, but at the end of the day, I regret playing Modern Warfare 2 as much as I did. I regret playing Destiny as much as I did. The thing is, like, you can... Say you, you were working full time, maybe even like 45 hours a week at your job, but then every time you got home, you played the same game over and over. You know? Yeah. Like, what's wrong with that? I'd nothing. I'm saying that's fine. James is implying that if you put play a game for hundreds of hours, you're yeah, a fucking. Yeah, James is doing no. the exact. No, I, I said I'm a loser. Me. Me back then. For was. playing a game for hundreds yeah, of hours. Yeah, it's implying no, that, that I those think who I'm do a loser because I. No, it's not because I play games, it's because it was me. I don't care if you play games on jazz. I regret doing that because I wasted my time. I <laughs> you wasted... realize what you're saying by saying that. Shut bit. up. I <laughs> no. I threw away one of the greatest opportunities in my life to play Modern Warfare 2. I regret that. And if I had, if what I was could your go greatest back, opportunity, I, I I left the under 16 car club to play Modern Warfare 2. I could have stayed there, look, passed my test at 18, been like an advanced driving instructor instantly. Because I've been driving for like seven years. But I didn't. I threw it away to play Modern Warfare 2. And that's pathetic. I mean, you kind of are a pro gamer now, so. I'm not. Swings and pro level COD player, so swings and roundabouts. I only play games in the after work. On the weekends, don't really play games. That's because we take up all your time. I've got John, I've got other things, and I've got working on, you know, my real hobby for... Thank you for watching this episode of the John Meter Podcast. It's not fucking over yet. Shut up. Yeah, we still got questions and, you know, funnies. We'll be back after these messages. Bye! Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and ladies and ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the segment of the show where we head over to Reddit and answer some of your questions about whatever you want. We are a open cast and we answer questions about things. I like being in the corner. Why? I'm going to go in the corner. It's nice. 
Um, you both can't do this. It's weird. Anyway. Our first comment or question or whatever comes so from a comment. Pickles the Cat 144. Weird, bro. Uh, jar is controlling my life, not cl clickbait. A funny jar related story. We get lots of these and I like them every time. Alex loves them. I've been watching jar since the old channel and been really enjoying the recent episodes. Yum. One of my favourite jar moments slash memes is Alex talking about his banana shenanigans. Oh god, yeah, Jim missed that. The best episode and Jim missed it. <laughs> I watched the episode, laughed a few times and didn't think anything of it until later. The thing is, I have Tourette's Syndrome. I think you can guess where this is going. I was diagnosed at four years old, and I've been- and have both motor tics and vocal tics, swearing, profanity, etc. And hours after watching the episode, I suddenly shouted that I masturbated with a banana, despite being a female and never doing anything weird with a banana in my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my parents, who were in, in a room at the time, found it absolutely hilarious. I guess they meant in the room at the time. Found it absolutely hilarious, and so did I. My friends find it funny too. It's a great icebreaker and probably one of the oddest ticks I've ever had. I just wanted to let Alex know that his story had a massive impact on me, literally, and it's brought my and it's brought one of my funniest Tourette stories ever. So thanks, Alex. Game on, bro. <laughs> nice. 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 It's nice to know that um, the Jar Media podcast brings such joy to people's lives. You know, we we. Are you just gonna leave it there? I blanked. Alpha Jarling says I was looking through old Jar videos and noticed the famous Portal Gun Bum Fun video was renamed to Portal Gun Buy Me Fun, <laughs> <laughs> and the thumbnail was no longer sexy and epic. My question is. Why would you change such an iconic title? And when did you do this? And when did you do this? I only noticed it recently. When did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> the, it was as it got flagged, didn't it? No. So what happened was, um, the network I'm with for Jar Media, they <clears throat> did what's called a thumbnail audit. So they went through and were like. Because they were, because YouTube was tweaking the system or something, in a few days from whenever this was, so they did this to all their channels and were like, "This video, this video, and this video have all been flagged as potentially like they're going to get smacked if you don't Hold change up. them." Was Hot Girl Booty Spider Man one of them? No, no, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> See, I literally have no idea what these episodes are. I don't know what they are. What, what, what? That was way back when Spider Man was first in the MCU. First announced to be in the MCU. Yeah. From the yeah. trailer. Yeah. A long time ago now. But yeah, I, I changed it because I didn't want anything bad to happen. Yeah. Because you never know with YouTube. The executive decision on behalf of Jar to save our bums. Yeah, there are a couple that I changed. And there are plenty of Jar Media videos have been flagged and like the. The great episode with the naked man running away from a hippo. <laughs> um, that's one I will not change. Yeah, definitely not. I have no attachment to Hot Girl... No, sorry. Portal, Portal Gun Bum, bum fun. fun. That was a good episode, though. No, as in, I like the episode, but it had no attachment to the thumbnail or the... The name was good. The name was good, but whatever. Portal Gun Bum, bum Fun. <laughs> wait, were you there for that? No. This was part of the job when I was on wait. So, the original question was if you had a portal gun, would you fuck yourself in the ass? Wait, did James. N I guess he wasn't there for I that. I was never there. Oh, Christ. This is a difficult question. Uh, the answer is yes. No. No, but do you remember we talked about the logistics and how you could make it work? No, it's real. You no, can't. think. No, you because. Couldn't. Because you're. As, as you thrust forwards, your, bum your would butt would also go forwards, so it's out of reach. You guys are so dumb. So, no, no, you no I developed drawing... a system to make it work, and you put, you attach the portal gun to like a, a, something you can move, you put your dick through the other one, and then you move the thing up your ass. <laughs> like yeah. a, No, like imagine a mug with just a portal with your dick coming out of it, <laughs> and then you just use it like a dildo. What you do, you can eat your own arse, though. 
He could eat your own ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why that Jordan Peele movie, Us, wasn't scary to me. Why? Because the movie's about doppelgangers showing up and trying to kill you. Yeah. But as soon as my do- doppelganger showed up, I'd just pounce on him and we'd just fuck. <laughs> If how, I ain't how? having an ego, I don't know what is. <laughs> uh, what happened if it was my doppelganger? Because surely they'd have the same No, because the, the so whole like... thing was that like the doppelgangers were going for their own person and stuff like that. Yeah, so my doppelganger would go for me, but we'd have the same car. So we'd just be chasing each other too. <laughs> I don't know if they have yeah, the same... I don't, I don't think they have cars in that universe well, for them, but... Well, I'll just run him over with my car. James's answer to everything. Yeah. So how can I really over. awkwardly bring this back to being about cars? Or Even specifically, if it's, my there's car. no link. Let's just try and wedge <laughs> cars. You in make there. it sound like I'm sad, as if I'm obsessed. That's not no. Yes. No, it's just you're passionate about it. No, but it's just like everyone thinks I, I'm just a car boy. I'm not a car boy. You are. You, you are a car boy. How am I a car boy? How the fuck are you? Just because I've a got car- like seven car meets planned in this year doesn't mean I'm a car boy. <laughs> You take every, literally every opportunity no, no, you can I don't. to no, talk I, no, about. No, 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 I don't. Anyway. No, you Wait, got hold on, you got nobody else smell that. What is it? I think it's an argy release. What, it does fart? stink. Yeah, yeah, it fucking reeks. That's probably why Because once came again, in. argy fucking... literally stinks as shit all the time. He's so lovely. He's scared of you guys as well. Do you know what, who's a better dog? Caius is. Eh. Do you know who's a better dog? Billy. Billy's the best ant- jar animal. Eh. Look at him. When I went to get Billy from the cattery, she wasn't the best jar animal. Nah, that's bullshit. <laughs> Not fair. Take pick She him was up actually screaming. <laughs> oh. Put Argy in a tiny box and fucking throw him in no, your car. No, dogs actually like being in like confined no, they don't. spaces. Yeah, they, they do. Guys, does not. Well, he's a freak. <laughs> and he bites He's a anyway. freak. His <laughs> ass stinks of shit. Next question. Goofbrush says, Is James as horny as they say? I'll let you answer that, James. No. Well, it depends. How horny do they say he is? Yeah. Is this all related to my boner shorts from, like, the first episode? <laughs> well, yeah. I, I still have those shorts. So the answer's yes. Well, there's a reason we call him the MILF Hunter. Let's just leave it at that. No, I'm not. Why? Where did this come Soggy from? Soggy Doggy says... No, no, shut up. You've got to finish this. I've never heard anything to do with me being horny. No, I said MILF. You're a MILF Hunter. Yeah. That's You've not always the question. Been James I've MILF always Hunter. Been, I've been MILF Hunter house, but that doesn't... <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the question. Why are you called the MILF Hunter? Is it because of that porn channel that's like the MILF Hunter... He goes around like like he, because that's, that's what the, the name joke, he gave that's, himself. That's the joke we made when we were fifteen. Because we would dumb, we only just discovered pornography. It's just milfs. So that's because <laughs> all like fresh teenage boys just love milfs yeah. for some reason. So I've, I well, I just I know the reason, but I became a milf hunter. Fuck me. There's there's all the evidence you need. This is in that subject. Soggy Doggy says, which one of the Red Dead Redemption characters would win in a Mario Kart race? Dutch. <laughs> uh, Jack Marston. He'd be speedy. Why? Because he's small. I'm talking about Kid Marston. Oh. Tiny little guy. Okay. So he'd be like Baby Mario. Like Baby Mario, yeah. Well, who's the Yoshi of the gang? Your your horse, surely. Mm. That would be a great know. name for a horse in Red Dead. Yeah, Yoshi. Y- Yoshi. <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? Because it's way more comfortable to be facing you guys as opposed to my body facing towards the camera. My my, I'm facing you guys. I'm facing you. Yo, mama. Jim doesn't like me anymore. We... <laughs> it's because Munter Squad says. How would you describe each other's poo with the title of a movie or a game? Example, Dirty Harry or Max Payne. <laughs> Wait, so I have to describe each o- your you guys. You're, okay. Just describe um, either your poo or one of our poos. Okay, I can describe my own poo. Um, you're going to have to give me a while to think of a movie title uh, that fits. <laughs> mine would be Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Mine would be Get Out. <laughs> James's would be the Shawshank Redemption. 
No, I'm trying to think. Like, what? What's the The Dark Knight? <laughs> <laughs> what's the, a good movie to describe poo that takes forever to come out? Tremors. <laughs> <laughs> Alien. <laughs> and like, they're the smallest poos in the world, though. So Forrest hard, Gump. Hard to come out really small when they do. <laughs> no Country for Old Men. The Meg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying movie titles at this point. <laughs> Rampage. Rampage is a good one. So if you've got, I'm just reading them. So if you've got diarrhea, it's Fast and Furious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Annihilation. <laughs> Annihilation. <laughs> Stranger Things. That's a good one for me. That's like if you've got like spaghetti in your in your in your shit. Mm. Bit of corn. <laughs> good question. Very good. What about Good Time? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a, that's a shit that you yeah, shit and that you and don't have to wipe. No and it's all clean. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, coll collagen Cleo says if you saw or knew someone that has the same personality and looks as you. Would you interact or befriend them? No. And what kind of relationship would you have with this person? Friendly relationship? Rivals? Is this, is this another doppelganger question? Yeah. Well, it's probably on everyone's mind because of Jim. us. What? I would. I would probably. I look. Have in, sex with them. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. If I. What do you think? We really, we, we literally started as enemies. Literally. Yeah, but we're, <laughs> we're I wouldn't say now. we're... We're not that similar. We don't too. look similar. We... <laughs> the only thing we have in common is... Wow! Wow! Which Jim invented. Jim's invented everything. Your channel, invented by Jim. Jarcast, invented by Jim. Jim's like the... I'm the brains of the organization. <laughs> <laughs> My dog is hungry. <laughs> oh, Jim's gone. You gotta have a reference from the Dark Knight. Say why so serious? <laughs> why? I'm so not wearing hockey pads. Remember the debate <laughs> on if it was hockey pads or pants? It's confirmed that it's pads. Yeah, quite weird the voice he does in his movies. Quite shit. I don't. Make good, make better. Has a comment for us. Jar, help me make a movie. I'm studying film at college, and one of my assignments for the first semester was to write a short script and present it to the class. At the end of the semester, the class would vote on which scripts to make into actual films. So there I was, trying to come up with a story to write about, and then I remember Jamie mentioning something about what he'd do if he had a video game character customizer in real life. I don't remember which episode. I think it was I a response to a fan question. Within a day, I farted out a script and about two guys breaking into a lab to mess about with a medicine that can change the appearance of their clothes. I presented it, and at the start of the second semester, I found out that my script was one of eight to be picked to be made, out of a class of 40. Cut to four months later, the film is now finished and has been screened. Making the film was a great experience, and I don't know if I'd have made one if I wrote about something else. So thanks to Jamie and slash or the Jar fan who suggested the real life character customization question. I, I genuinely don't remember who came up with it. Game on, boys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So this guy steals my idea. Then I think he owes us some cash. <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, he steals my idea, then rubs it in my face that he stole my idea, and then hasn't sent me a, a check in the mail. <laughs> oh no. Um, this is hardcore backstabbery. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's pretty sweet, though. Yeah. Should we come up with another script right now? <laughs> oh no, please. Nothing's gonna be the Deadpool sequel idea, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just go back to the Deadpool sequel idea. <laughs> we peaked way too early. Okay, Bebo Dibby Dibby Dosa says, "What's the silliest reason you've got into a fight with someone?" Probably with Jim. <laughs> Probably for I'll... slamming James's doors on his car. Yeah. That wasn't a fight. I was just being. I think most of them revolve around James and James his car. and Ruben. <laughs> How? Okay, explain. Because you two 
argue over the dumbest shit. <laughs> Literally anything. Yeah, li- it doesn't matter what the, what it a is. Dog. Yeah, um, dogs. That wasn't a an diet. Argu- I wasn't arguing that. That was just a diet. <laughs> that was the um, best bit. <laughs> a brownie. No, the the inanimate of- objects. Yeah, just. Oh, free, free. You mentioned oh, free. Two of them. I wasn't arguing. I was trolling. No, one of them <laughs> was like a genuine passive-aggressive like jab. Which one? The diet. The one. diet one. What I was did, laughing James when say? I was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> what did James say to Ruben? Ruben said like, "I think I'm gonna have another pizza," and James was like, "Ruben, your diet is fucking shit." <laughs> And then Reuben killed him in Rainbow Six. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it and wasn't then... that. I said it while laughing, and then it was just silence. And then Reuben was just like, <laughs> snap. <laughs> and then you said, like, are you a fucking child? <laughs> <laughs> That's James's go to. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny, though. <laughs> and then it? we literally didn't talk for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we just sat in the corner and didn't say a word to each other. No, because I went to pee and then came back and then I said, like, you you guys better make up because y- y'all are being bitches. <laughs> Is that what you actually said? I mean, not not verbatim, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but me and we've been always cool about it. It's just like we do that because that's our thing. Well, James You're sits famous. there with, like, childish glee, loving every second of it, knowing Ruben gets so, up, like, worked up about it. It's like the, when we, we were playing Apex two days ago. And this room was posting this picture of a dog, so I was just saying dumb shit about a dog, and it's just laughing every time I said anything. Ah, oh, so Such good. Such a troll. The original troll face himself. Have you not seen that picture of me? What? That old picture <laughs> of me. Oh, of course, yeah. With Where the troll like face. The troll face. Yeah. I found that. It's on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> what is with Argy? He's being a bro right now. Oggy! Come here. The Dibster says a Lego question for Alex. Do you think MR Productions looks like Walter Jr. a little bit? Yeah, I can see that. Sebastian Ort has a question that James will like. He just Ooh, smacked his head I'm on the sorry. mic. <laughs> Which Madagascar characters are the World War II leaders? Uh, well, <laughs> oh, well. God, okay. We don't actually have to answer that. Okay, Madagascar who? The Mad- Madagascar, Madagascar two, no wobble two, Madagascar characters. So um, we got um, Winston Churchill is uh, Gloria. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, was it Teddy Roosevelt? Who's, no, who's we're gonna it? show our ignorance now. I don't know. I I know because America about got World involved. War II history, but America so late, like fuck. You've got um. Mussolini is Melman. That's the giraffe. No, because th- m- Italy was a dibby. So more World War Two. Franklin yeah. Roosevelt. Franklin, not Teddy. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, America would be <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex the Lion. Yep. Um, so you, who have we got left? We've got more. We got. What about Germany? Hitler. Skipper. No. Who? No, right? Surely King Julian. He's like a kind of dictator sort of figure. It, it wasn't uh, communism, though. Oh, whatever. King Julian's Russia. He's Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> and Skipper. Are we really Surely Skipper Mr. should have been America. No. Yeah. He, no, because America was one of the leading forces. Yeah. So and everything Alex. that happens in Madagascar okay. is thanks to the Mel- penguins. Melman is France. <laughs> <laughs> Melman's France. So we've just got and Marty is England. No, because we said glorious Winston Churchill. Oh yeah, of course. So who have we got left? No, because um, the giraffe. What's his name? Melman. Melman. Melman He's can, France. Melman can be Poland. No, Melman is France. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay, so who's Marty? Marty is Yo Mama. Japan? He's, he's no, so good at Marty spitting water. Marty has to be an ally. No, but I thought the clash was him and Alex. They were the little. In, yeah, in the first one, I guess. But, so that would make sense with Japan. 
No, but then if Alex isn't what America, then what is Alex? Skipper, the penguins. America has Wait, to be what? the fucking penguins. Wait, so America's no... the penguins. So what's Alex? Germany. <laughs> Alex the lion is a Nazi. <laughs> yeah, here, here first, folks. Oh my god. Merink says, what? "Maybe he's China." Oh my god. China. Nobody gives a shit about China. Mobile two. Yo, you mama. should. Don't sleep on China. I'll be sleeping on China, huh? Had a good snooze. <laughs> anyway, I can go back to my question now from Marink. This cast is just like... <laughs> what do you think... What do you guys think of modern British rock bands? I'm a big fan of Nine Inch Nails. I think they're the the best group. Yeah, famous British rock band, Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> so, do we listen to rock? I, I really enjoy bands like Muse, my favourite band, The Struts, Nothing But Thieves, Bastille, etc. That was the end of the question. I don't listen to rock. I... yeah, no. Not really my thing, modern rock. Yeah. It's cold. I remember liking Muse in like secondary school. Yeah, I liked Muse back in the day. I haven't really but listened to them in a long time though. Back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. That, that's when I wouldn't listen to like albums though. I just listened to a single. Yeah. Loads of singles. A couple songs. Do you it. think it's right to play your music, all of it, a shuffle? Yes. If that's how you want to do it, yeah. I do that I sometimes. I wouldn't say there's any wrong way to listen to music. Epic. I thought you'd be like, that's dumb. I, I personally don't like doing that. I like putting on an album. I like doing that. I prefer putting I do on both. an artist, personally, because then you know what kind of you're getting into, that type of artist, that type of style. But recently, I've just been shuffling every single song I have, so it's like... Look. So you're an idiot, then? So you're an actual moron, no, then? The, th the thing I do is I end up skipping all of the ones I don't want to listen to. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like putting on an album. Then then you no, that's then when I you find diamonds in the rough. But, but that's when I, c I can't decide on an album or an artist. You just go, um, well, that one. I can't do that. Ghost Skull says, this is a Lego question for Alex. Fuck He's yes. picking these because it's... Hit what are your opinions on the new Lego Star Wars 20th anniversary sets that I went to look for in Sainsbury's earlier, but they weren't there? You didn't. Yeah, I did. did. Yes, he did, and then I hit a, a, a Coca-Cola oh. pepper sachet <laughs> underneath the uh, mm, mm, Overwatch, Lego, Overwatch set. Lego set. Personally, I think they're lackluster, but I'm hoping they'll release more later this year, hoping for a new UCS set. If you go to the the the, Saint, the big Saints who's in Chippenham, go to the Lego, I'll go to the second box <laughs> of the, the Overwatch and see no, a No, but there's multiple sort. Overwatch sets. It's the one with... Uh, uh, Tracer and Stupido Maker. Is Tracer in it? I thought yes. it was Widowmaker is definitely in it. Yes, it's that right. one. I didn't see you do it, so I don't know which. It's it the was. second box in. Little box. Second yep. box in. If you pick up, there'll be a salt. There'll be a pepper from McDonald's. I think I've talked about it before, but it fucks me up that Overwatch sets, Overwatch Lego sets exist. Mm-hmm. So fucked Horse up. Shit. Me. Horse shit. Overwatch equals porn and nothing else. So just seeing this like Lego porn effectively on shelves for kids to buy and look at on the kids shelf. It's Lego is very sexualized, so I don't think that's a big problem. No, no but, but then, Overwatch is. But, but then the kids are going to go online to try and find art of oh, their favorite. Yeah, they'll search Lego Overwatch one. Tracer, and it'll be like a triple gangbang with Tracer as the first image result, and they'll be like, "Oh, uh, Tracer's gay, actually." <clears throat> you think the porn cares about that? <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, I actually quite like the twentieth Lego anniversary set, so I'm even considering buying the fucking Pod Racer from Episode One because of the nostalgia there. Because, of course, it's 20th anniversary of Lego Star Wars. Mm -hmm. First kind of... fan my, my my Lego fandom started with those original 1999 Star Wars sets. So, including that pod racer and... Yeah. Was it the yellow pod racer, isn't it? Yeah, Anakin's one. That, that's, my, that's my childhood as well. Because it was in the yeah, pod exactly. racer game. It's actually a pretty decent set from the looks of things. Um, I haven't bought any of them yet because I'm waiting for a points weekend or something. We'll see. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hey, Shakira! I don't even own that game. I'm waiting for points Was that weekend. you farting or was that like it? A bit of both. <laughs> I'm waiting for points weekend. <laughs> hey, look at my rotary! Oh, shit, no, <laughs> did did you just quickly... say rotary? Did you just say rotary, Alex? Hmm? Did you just say rotary? Yes, he did. Yes, Alex! Yes! <laughs> um. Yes. 
my laugh just then reminded me of a trailer that I saw, the Joker trailer. Can we quickly talk about how shit this movie's gonna be? Really? That's the opposite opinion that most people have. Are you serious? Yeah. I think people it's gonna are hyped be lit. for this movie. I think it's gonna be fucking trash. What are your reasons for that? Like two times in the trailer, it's like, look, he's a clown. Get him. <laughs> they just fucking attack this dude. Like, 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 like. That's how crime works. Like, like people. My, my my version of the Joker. Yeah, sure. I tried being normal once. <laughs> <laughs> I thought some of it was like, oh, and some of it was like, oh. Mm. Great actor. Yeah, very good actor. Very good actor. Curious and to see his interpretation, but it's like, wh why are you making these fucking movies where the main character of the movie is an integral part of another character's story? Yeah. Like, people say that, um, oh, the Joker's always the most interesting part of a Batman movie. It's like, it, it's still a Batman movie, though. Yeah. Like, you... Isn't his whole motivation yeah. completely no, his, revolved around Batman? His existence is Batman. Like, he mm. doesn't exist without Batman. Yeah. But it's supposedly like a, a sort of Elseworld story that isn't in the DC universe. It's like a one-off thing that isn't connected. But wh why is it called the Joker then? Make your own fucking character. Because brand recognition... People go see Joker. They love Joker. Hot Topic can put his face on shirts. <laughs> just, just fucking make a movie called Clown. <laughs> hey, it's yeah, me, I mean, clown. I watched the trailer and was like, yeah, okay, whatever, and then forgot about it. When Ruben told me who the director was, then I was like, okay, this, this finna be trash. Saw the Hangover director, is that right? Yeah. Whatever, we'll see. It looks like that. I don't know. To me, it kind of looks like DC is. They just don't know what the fuck they're doing, yeah. so they're like... No, how confusing is it to general audiences that yeah. Suicide Squad came out the other year, and now they've got a Joker movie coming out with a different actor, <laughs> not based in the same universe, <laughs> but, but also then <laughs> there's also a Suicide Squad sequel without the Joker in it. So it's almost like... It's kind of like a soft reboot in and of itself. Yeah. Like, is Jared Leto still going to be the Joker in that universe? Who's gonna I mean, I'm just going to say who I knows, fucking who hope cares. <laughs> Who's directing that movie now? Who? What James movie? Gunn's not doing it, is he? No, he is, I think. Yeah, I, I think, think he's he still is. attached to it. No, but he's doing Guardians of the Galaxy 3. You can do both. Do you see all wait? we got fucking nothing else going <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the best director they've ever had. <laughs> you saying Zack Snyder ain't... Yo mama? Um, go out and lose your virginity if you think Batman in my movie's rubbish. His Ooh. fucking words, not mine. Did he actually say that? Yeah, he said, like, these comic book fans need to go and fuck some pussy if, if they think my Batman's lame. <coughs> Guess what? This is reality. Batman kills people, okay? <laughs> but Batman's a comic book character. Yeah. He's a farcical cartoon. He's a fucking dude that dresses up as a bat. <laughs> and his, it, like, his defining character is that he won't kill at all costs. It's the only thing that keeps, <laughs> that like, distinguishes him from the crime that he's so passionately yeah. fights against. <laughs> this is, like, one of his biggest motivations. No, go get laid, you fucking homo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. This shows the fucking perspective he brought it on. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, he, he looks cool, so he must kill. Yeah. <laughs> Have him, like, fucking explode a couple guys in another video. Yeah. <laughs> Which he retconned himself in the next movie anyway. Batman doesn't kill anyone in Justice League. Did he retcon that or did the other dude? Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon. <laughs> well, Zack Snyder had no creative input in Justice League. Or, and what he did was so, like... <laughs> I think saying that, though, is so... Lame of him. Hang on. We'll come back and discuss this more after these messages. Please continue. Let's shit more on Zacky Spider. <laughs> Zack Spider. No, Zach like Spider's it's, Justice League. It's genuinely just like cruel. These people that love Batman, yeah. and he's had the blessing to make a fucking Batman movie. Yep. Yeah. And then he's read one Batman. Instead comic. of just instead of him being polite and saying this was just how I wanted the character to be, this was my vision of him. Like if you person. don't like it, then okay. But but no, you're a fucking pussy if you don't like it. You. 
you f- fucking these lame. fucking comic book nerds who I made the movie for. Yeah, in, rev- in <laughs> yeah, you in, made a Batman movie. You got in them reverence to dumbass. the most famous Batman comic of all time was his like biggest inspiration. Mm-hmm. It's like surface level understanding of this character is handed. It shows how like DC and their whole thing was like just completely clueless. Same guy who. It also explains why Superman is so unsupermanny in his mm-hmm. movies. Because he's a he's a he's a cool Superman. He's, he's Chad. not for fucking yeah. He's Chad Superman. <laughs> like he's a dick. Just you know slaughters thousands of people. Mm-hmm. Only cares about puss. Yeah, um, that, the, his the only thing he cares about is is crunching puss. He getting, barely he like Chrissy. <laughs> he hates being a superhero in like Man of Steel. And yeah, it's he like doesn't only such hate a burden. It. <laughs> But he abuses his power to get the Chrissy. It's actually disturbing. And then at the end, he like kills thousands of people and is like, Come here, babe. <laughs> Still got my Chris at the end of the day. Lad. And then all the nerds raged. Superman, more like Super Lad. Super Chad. <laughs> <laughs> super Lad is a Super Chad. <laughs> Tron Giants asks, have any of you played a game so bad that it both offended and sickened you? Also, will we be able to expect a DreamWorks Superstar Karts multiplayer playthrough from the Jarcast? Uh, no to that second question. Aww. Yes, um, to the second question. The f- ah. <laughs> Terrible Games, Borderlands 1. Oof, yeah. Think, think about that recently. Yeah, Terrible Games, Borderlands played, 2. Bo- me and Jim <laughs> played Borderlands 2 co-op, Borderlands 1 co-op. It's we played it for like at least ten hours. I don't know. We literally every half an hour we're like, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get yeah, better. Like, it's gotta get better. Like Borderlands Two came after this one, a game that we loved. Yeah, and then it never did, and we literally both gave up. You gave up. I didn't know. I kept going. You, you tried to keep going. You didn't make it to the end, did you? No, we, we did. We finished it. Cause that really fucking shit cutscene where the girl's like ha 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 and gets stabbed, and then there's a monster. Do you remember? It? I finished it. Yeah, we both did. It, it finishes like that. It's just instant finishes. Sort of remember. You see, yeah, anyway, Borderlands 1 is a shit game. Shittest game I've ever played. Not the shittest I've ever played. Um, okay, what's the shittest? I feel like there's something screaming at me and I can't quite put my finger on it. I thought the Wii version of Force Unleashed was pretty fucking bad. Mm. No, but that's a Wii game. You can't... No, I'm not going to... Oh, Spider-Man 3 on Wii? Nah, that was too much Wii fun. game. That was a great game. What, so the Wii's just doesn't count? Doesn't count. No, because Mario Kart Wii was pretty fucking sick. But like, I just don't play shit games anymore, unless you know. Jim, what's the shit game? Tell me, we play shit Kart. games. It's uh, not Resident Evil Six because that's actually made to a high level. It's just shit. Resident Evil Five is great as well. Yeah, awesome game. After playing Resident Evil Two, now I kind of want to play. Um, we should play Resident Evil Five Co-op. The fucked ones. Resident Evil Five is fucking oh. actually genuinely really fun. <coughs> oh, we should play Resident Evil 5 Cup. Yeah, fuck me. You oh, never why? buy anything. Yeah, I true. literally anyway. bought Resident Evil 6. And I'm the yeah, new Resident Evil shit. fan. Okay. <clears throat> also, Resident Evil 5 is too scary for you. Go, wait, guys, can you both crouch down way more? It's good, like, so that they can actually see you. Okay, now punch each other. Ow! <laughs> Mummy! Mine leg play? hurts. Who we, who's gonna play um, Resident Evil Six then? <laughs> no one. Can we, can <laughs> it's we, so bad. Can we? No, Resident Evil Six definitely is one of the worst games I've ever played. It's not really. It not. for real. It is so bad. Why is it so bad? It's not. Is it? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Oh, the forest. I fucking hate the forest. <laughs> the forest. I the fucking forest. hate the, the forest. The piece. <laughs> the Don't no. even toss shade towards the forest. That game is a fucking beaut. I fucking hate the forest. You're not telling me you had some. You never had a funny time. No. He didn't understand how to play it though. He would. He wouldn't use the ropes. He'd just jump off the bloody tree house, hurt himself. Yeah, because like, I was so <laughs> fucking bored. I was like, let's just ruin no, your fun. No, nah, we went in that cave that one time and it was spooky. Yeah, until you see, like, the fucking... Ugh, whatever, man. No. You're... Okay, I'm gonna say Alex is wrong, and I'm right. The so... forest is not a good game. <laughs> forest sucks so hard. Slap me, then. <clears throat> King Jong Milhouse says, 
This one is mostly for James. What's the ugliest car in the world? <laughs> PT... Chrysler PT Cruiser f Cabriolet. <laughs> Do I know this one? The Chucky Mobile. The Chucky Mobile. Imagine oh, the Chucky Mobile, but a convertible. Oh my god. <laughs> He's the ugly... There's a convertible <laughs> version? <laughs> yes, there <it> is. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you right now. Can you say the name again so people listening might want to Google? Say Chrysler PT Cruiser Cabriolet. Chrysler PT Cruiser Cabriolet. Yeah. Fuck me. No, but the, we call it the Chucky Mobile because there's someone in our town who has that car, but they've like customized it with these Chucky, like the movie, the doll, the murderous mm. doll themed decals all over the car and it's like it's the most so it's an abomination Jim. of the vehicle look at it you <laughs> <laughs> see James? what beast have I you want seen that. this shit i want that car look 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 at it look at it looks gourmet like imagine pulling up to work in yeah that's bad uh -huh. no it gets worse like imagine pulling up to your new job in that you, the people would know you're a straight baller. <laughs> you know, I've seen one. I went to a car meet and someone had a modified one. Was it, it was incredible? a cabriolet. It was a fucking pickup. They turned it into a pickup. It had, you know, like, you know, like <laughs> hot rod paint styles with flames. Yeah, it had yeah. that and it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and in this car park, there was like all the Japanese modded cars and that yeah. showed up. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's hilarious. George, Georgie is not okay. Says, you mingers have already said your favorite chocolates. Twirl is objectively the best by far. It's not. Milker is. <sighs> Don't. Oh my. That's bullshit. Milker me. is. Milker is a fantastic. Galaxy chocolate. is better than fucking Milker. No, Galaxy it's not. Galaxy is even good. You, you Galaxy were obsessed. better than Milker. No, no, no. You were obsessed with Milker Dime. Because it had Dime in it. Which is nice. Have you tried Cadbury Dime? It's terrible. No. Because I don't, I don't, I don't care about Dime anymore because I would have been like 14. young, dumb, and full <laughs> of cum at the time. So I don't care. Milka is top. Oh my god. With Lind. Milka is it's green and black. If, um, if the if the names were switched and Cadbury was like the European shit tier chocolate like um Milka is and we had and Cadbury was called Milka here, James would still he would still yeah, no, no. If it yeah, was switched no, around right. just because it's European. No, no, that is exactly why. You stop fanboyism to no, the fucking no, 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 no. Do you remember no. the whole Pocky thing? Yeah. I had, uh, okay, the, the Pocky, f I was 14. I've always liked Milka because I like the chocolate and it's very milky. I've liked that since I was a kid. And like, before Well, that gives some people diarrhea, James. So dairy be milk before, isn't milky enough no, for you. It's, no, because it gets sick. When I was it, young, before I even knew what Milka is, I got some Milka chocolate for Christmas and I was like, this is the best thing in the world. So and I've always loved Milka. Milka is shit. The fuck? Oh, fuck. Milk is not in. shit. Milk is beautiful. It's shit. It's not but shit. I would take it if we didn't have dairy milk. Dairy but we milk do have is dairy overweighted. Milk. Wrong. No, it is. So wrong. You you take a bite of dairy milk and then you feel sick. If I'm gonna eat a bar of chocolate, I'm gonna eat the whole bar. You can't do that with Cadbury. Milk so though. Do, do you know how much dairy milk I've eaten in my life? More like the... entire fucking big chungus bars. Mm -hmm. Like fat dude bars. <laughs> Down my mouth in one sitting. Yeah, I've done the same. And milk is ten times better. No. Because every bite, I'm like, this is lovely. With milk, it's like... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All it tastes of is milk. <laughs> it's like milk that's solidified. It's great. <laughs> Jim, next time you have one of those, aim the mic and fart into the mic. <laughs> Please. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, that's actually, my opinion on milk. It, it would sound really funny. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. No, but please do. People. Please do. <laughs> He's literally farted non-stop today. <laughs> non-stop. But the question... I have colitis. Despite how shit Milka is, and everyone agrees, um, unless you're in Europe, where I'm sorry, that's all you fucking got. <laughs> no, this happened in bloody Europe. Mm-hmm. There is. Okay. I've been to Europe. So have I. Yeah, so have I. <laughs> We all have. We're in Europe right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not when we leave the EU. Anyway, the actual question was, so I wondered, what are all your favourite sweets? Not counting chocolate. Oh. <laughs> fruit gums. 
fruit comes a shit. Damn, fruit gums are all... Nah. Shut the <laughs> you, fuck you, up. Shut the fuck up, Alex. Fruit gums are baby tear bullshit. How? They're not baby tear. You've got to have big man teeth to fucking chew those motherfuckers. Let they are you. so good. <laughs> I don't want to be chewing on something that Hold actually up. makes me tired. <laughs> no, it's good exercise for your jaw. You don't get cheekbones like these, bye. Wrong. Alex. No, wait, are you going to say like fruit pastels or some fucking... No, I was going to say... Um, I like the M and S like worms. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking little. P- Let me list like a top three, gummy worms, like the, the M and S the- ones. No, like the all natural like ones. No, that the M and S ones are better than those. All natural, but. <laughs> Let me have my opinion. Colin the caterpillar. That's what it's called. No, I'm not crazy about those. I like gummy worms. Okay, shithead. I l- I fucking love Percy pigs. Why? Yeah, they're shit. I hate them. <laughs> you guys are wrong. No, Percy pigs are overrated. They are not that good. Yeah. Thank no, you. No, that's horse shit. You bite their ears off, and then, then you feast on the de- like the dessert of the dessert. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then number three, fruit gums. Do you think, Americans, do you think Americans have Percy pigs? No. No. D- no. That's a shame. Percy pigs are mind-blowingly fucking l- 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 licky, licky, yummy. <laughs> do you know what's one thing? I'd- millions. You like millions. Shut the fuck up. They don't millions s- since I was a kid. They don't sell them anywhere. Really? They don't sell them anywhere. I check every shop I go in to find millions. They don't sell any. There's like There's a. Sh- my favorite sweet is Juicy Drop Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those bars? Wham bars. There's 20 p <laughs> Matt, was, bars. Matt loved them. Yeah. God damn it. No, nobody <laughs> loved them more than Alex, though. Oh, I fucking loved one. <laughs> we had a fucking drawer in Alex's room. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it also had fucking... <laughs> a crusher in crusher. there, it had wham, and it had, like, a Swiss roll, and it had popcorn in it. <laughs> and, like, Malm, and just any spare money we'd had, we had, we'd go to but the But it garage. wasn't, like, nice ones. It was, like, Sainsbury's Basic It was Swiss just roll. cheap shit, like, get the most stuff we can. Because <laughs> it was all in preparation <laughs> for your birthday. And there's this one wham bar that fucking melted in it in summer. Because I opened it and was like, I'll just have a bite. <laughs> I had a bite, but then left it open. And you could never get it out. <laughs> I this. It actually melted onto the, on the, onto the base the, the of wood. the drawer. Yeah. And you couldn't get it off. We ended up smashing that thing to pieces. <laughs> the one part was just the one bit that was the smashing. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That shit, like, is probably the only thing holding me together at this point. Like, all the wham bars, like, that are inside <laughs> me. Like, like when I die, digesting. my body will decay and there'll be, like, this perfect, like, <laughs> wham bar <laughs> exoskeleton. See, I, I've never liked those type of sweets. Those wham bar kind of really... But you like millions. I love millions. Because Did I haven't had them in, like, six years. That's so you have mistake. Them. What about Freddo's? No, they're chocolate. Yeah, they're chocolate. Yeah, don't count. They're okay. also dairy milk chocolate. What do you so. think of like uh, um, American sweets? Shit. <laughs> they're shit. Like n- nerds. Yeah, they're shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have good confectionery. <laughs> we have the best confectionery in the world. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one thing we're good at. Mm-hmm. Insane, sugary, addictive, terrible for you confectionery. Do you know what I'm going to say? You know you, you know you get the bags of fruit gums. You get the bags of fruit gums. And they're a bit hard. Horrible. So if you've got the tubes of fruit gums, they are soft as fuck. They are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't one of the good ones. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to take longer or what. Basically, keep don't buy a bag of fruit gums. Buy the free tubes for one pound. Buying. See, I don't know if someone who'd never had English confectionery and then had fucking fruit gums would be all that impressed. <laughs> No, f- no, you've got a scent of fruit gums. I, I just want to say, I like hate it. I hate fruit pastels. <laughs> Jim used to love fruit pastels. <laughs> That's all shit. God. That's you hate fruit pastels. No, they're lovely. I've always hated fruit pastels. Wrong. Shit texture. You still no. The texture's nice. It's no, just pure the, sugar. The sugar on them is <clears throat> shit. Shit to your sweet. Don't give a shit. Oh, I, what I, you I only have negative memories of millions. It's too much. It's too fucking much, millions. Yeah, millions. There's just too no, many of them. No, no, Hundreds no, no, no. of them. <laughs> no, you just pull them in and you see what happens. Pull whole tube and you That's so fucked. Did you ever have those, um, those like straws that have been closed either side and you yeah. rip the end of the s- straw off and then... They suck. They suck. Because they're they, fucking pointless. They always get wet on the inside, then they just it just never comes out. 
What about uh, those UFO suites? Oh, they were terrible. Yeah. Like I, I, I like the UFOs. I liked them, but like, but they're when horrible. I think about them, they're so it's like cardboard with sherbet in the middle. Yeah, that's what makes them so great. <laughs> Sherbet's I haven't had any nice, of this shit it, in so long. It hurts, Sher- sherbet. Mm. It, it always scrapes the roof of your mouth, and then you're just like coughing up blood for six months. It's not when you snort it. It's what kids in our school used to do, remember? Mm-hmm. They used to buy pot those sherbet things and just like try to act as if it's cocaine. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> James d- disapproved of that one. Couldn't you snort some once? That was cocoa powder. Cocoa powder? <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, I hope people from around the world um, send us some base of reference for that. I bet they've got like some weird thing that like their favourite is. Yeah. Ray Ravio underscore says, I don't have a question to ask, but I just thought I'd say that Jolo Truglio is an in-joke with me and my friends, so when I saw the other week's episode's title, I basically scream laughed. Truglio on, gamers. <laughs> Swing AF. Okay, let's see if Jamie. we have any couple more. Jamie. Jamie. Hmm. Alex, Jim won't pick up my my call. <laughs> J- Jean Luc Goddard seventy six says, "What are your thoughts on Letterboxd as a whole? A lot of people hate it, but I think it's a genuinely helpful and well designed site." Why would people hate it? What's the hate about it? I guess it has a rep for like we brought up at the beginning of the show being I don't know gatekeepery and very. I mean, that's not I'm the a film for. guy thing, but I mean. I- I, do, I, don't the every... and, I don't get any of that there. Yeah, I don't. I just either. look at the numbers. Yeah. I, I like use a it. Film genius. I, I use it for my own like enjoyment in terms of like I like tracking it and being obsessive OCD. It's like achievements on Xbox for me. Do you know what? It's yeah. like every time I watch a film, it's like you, it's going on guys, Letterbox, so I know. Guys, you guys constantly talk about Letterbox and your views and that. It's just me from when I was sixteen, an anime. That's what I did. <laughs> How? <laughs> My anime list. It's where you list all your anime and you review them. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. It is. What? How is it any Except it's, it's just it's film. It's just documenting like things yeah. you've watched. And, and when. Th- that, I did that of anime. And guess what? I wish I never did. There you go again with the same thing. <laughs> no, I don't. My anime list is a proper... Wow! Yeah, I don't get the hubbub. I think the app's pretty good. The only issue it has is how long it takes to log a film. It takes too long for some reason. Does it? Maybe that's just my one. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't noticed that. Hmm. Let's do a couple more. Blah! Sue Sock says, If you guys were NPCs in an RPG video game, what idle dialogue lines would you have? What would you say if a player attacked you? Also, if you could interact with each other one time in game, what would the exchange sound like? Okay, I know if someone, I know what my line would be if someone attacks me. What? You know what it is. <laughs> no. I said it last week. <laughs> what, the Apex line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was, what's that? Remind the people? I can't actually remember it. Pain. Death. Nothing faces me. It's quite a good Copyright, one. uh... Lawsuit incoming. Not if it's based in the Apex world. Mm. Uh. Um, idle dialogue lines and one for when you're attacked. So idle would just be something like, "Game on." <laughs> <laughs> then, Mine would just be. <laughs> <laughs> Alex would be I'd like go, a gremlin at the back of the house in a, like an MMORPG. When I was attacked, I'd go, "Mama!" <laughs> Wait, I'd be a, like an NPC that's sort of hidden away because they didn't like finish him. I'd just be... Well, the only thing I could say is, Hello there. Every, Get attacked. Everyone from Skyrim. Hello there. If someone bumped into me, I'd go, Bubani, trouble, no, nani. Hello there. So, what, so what's the, the other dialogue line that we need to do? It was idle, and if you're attacked, and then if if, if one of us interacted with the other NPC. So if I interacted with Jim... No, I'd, it would start off with me going, Hello there. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great game. I don't know what mine would be. Okay. Have you seen my bird? 
Have you actually seen my bird, though? Hello there. Well, we can talk about this briefly. James, James's huge erect knob. Any thoughts on the new Arrested Development episodes? Pretty you seen bad. any, Jim? Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, pretty bad. I can't stand them. They're it's like so... they forgot to be funny. Yeah. Like seasons ago. That show just... Season one, two, and three. Mwah. Just stop. Mm -hmm. Don't need to watch anything past there. It literally ends. Yeah. It has an ending. Yeah, it has an ending, but they just had to... <laughs> Bring it back. It's just so, like... Uh... Everyone looks old and like they don't want to be there. Yeah. There's green screen all the time and it's really awkward. The green screen is and so it's bizarre. Like, and the, the exposition the, is off the charts but in also that fucking the, show. There's loads of like parts where they dubbed it mm -hmm. and it just looks awful. Yeah. I mean, the show's kind of always had that issue, but it's even worse now that like it's not even funny what they're dubbing. No. It's just. Yeah, it's, yeah the show is not good now. I haven't even finished it. The I, I remember the bother. first half of the season had me. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is kind of bringing it back round a bit. Yeah, this could improve, and then it's it's just like, it's it's like they thought the humor just came from complexity, and yeah. it's like and nothing so else. much shit going on at once, whereas it was like a perfect balance in the first three seasons, and now it's just, yeah, not a fan, bad. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's do one more. Ah! Jimmy, my fingy hurt. <laughs> hmm. I will do it, boy. I'm trying to find a good one to end on. Nope. Not Zuna things we've already talked about. <laughs> you know I will hit slap you. Think no, I don't want to do a dream. Remember one. those games in school where they used to do the whole slap thing? Uh huh. I would have fucking destroyed of that. Your hand eye coordination isn't the best, though. You might want to sort the mic out. You just kind of fucked it over completely and utterly. Oh. Look at it. Look at the fucking strings. You kind of just completely. Oh, what? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, I just fixed your mic. I saw you, Jim. Didn't mean to do it. I'll do it to Alex later. Bebo Dibby Dibby Dosa, who we asked, answered a question from earlier. We can end on this one. Out of the four of you, who is the moodiest? James. Yeah, James. No. No, no questions. How? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why? Where, where are you getting this conclusion from? Um, some days you'll just go, um, I fucking feel like a bitch. Yeah. I know, <laughs> I was upset on Wednesday, and I wasn't moody, I was just like, when are you going to play games? You are the moodiest. What about the other no, day? No, I'm the most... What about last, last week when we were trying to organise the cast? When you were in mega mood? You're going to fart on my and face? You're, and you're no. always like, you're so bad at communication, and you're the absolute worst I'm not worst moody, I'm so always no, happy. you completely fucked us over on, the, on Saturday. Yeah. I didn't. They're making it up. No, he They're totally making it up to did. make me look bad. I'm always in a good mood. And if I fuck this model, then I'll bleach my mama. It'd be so easy to slap Jim's ass now. Literally. Are you too ah, scared, baby boy? Don't try it. I have the high ground. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit, boys. I think it's coming. Is James ah. trying to do a fart? This is a fart cast right now. I didn't fart. Anyway, James, take us away. Thank you for watching this episode of the Jar Media Podcast. <laughs> uh, it's because I need to swallow. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and thank you for all to all of our Patreons. We will catch you Patrons. on the next Angry Joe show. <laughs> Undo that fucking zip right now for a secret surprise at the end of the episode. This extra long episode. Unzip, come on motherfucker, expose the nip. <laughs> expose the nip. Expose the nip. Expose the nip. Expose the nip. I'm not looking, you're literally looking at my nipple. Okay. I do it in front of the camera. Okay, whatever. Nah, it's too late anyway, you fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're looking at time in my photo. My mama. That's it. Cheers.
Chao.